man makes plans and God laughs at it. I don't even know if that's the actual saying, but that's what's happening. So I got on the road about a week ago and my plan was to go from Southern California to Northern California. Number one, to visit my friend Ivana, because I haven't been to her house in a year. Number two, she was going out of town, so I was gonna watch her dog so she didn't have to pay to board her dog. And number three, I came up here to help her pack because she is moving. And number four, from here, I was going to continue north and go to Lake Tahoe. I haven't been there in years and it's beautiful and I just wanted to be somewhere peaceful by myself for a while. And it might be a little loud in here because I have my heater running and I just turned it off because it's toasty in here now. So I started over in my van basically. I had got to this like stressful place in my van life journey where I felt compelled to do more, show more, video more, edit more, all the mores. And I just kind of was over it. So I'm basically starting over and getting back into the mindset of when I lived in my car, it was so much more whimsical and so less stressful. And so I'm adopting that back into my life and just letting God guide my steps. Let me stretch a little bit. Nope, that wasn't a good idea. Okay. I wanted to go up north and I knew it was going to be colder because I've been up north in November before I went to Yosemite in November and it had a little ice on the ground and it was cold and I'm okay with this cold but I just looked and the weather this week is calling for a snow mix so I guess snow sleet rain all these things and the temperature is going to be in the what's happening here okay like in the 20s no, I don't like that. This is a curling iron and straightener, but I want to curl it today. Nope, that didn't work. Now, normally if it was going to be in the 20s, I'm okay because I have my diesel heater. But now that I got this lithium battery, it doesn't have a protector. If it gets too cold, it will just shut down or cause damage to the battery, which is kind of a bummer. I didn't really think, I mean, I thought about it, but I didn't think about it that much. But I didn't really plan on going anywhere in the 20s or 30s but it kind of limits me to where i'm gonna go although i do have a heating pad that i bought that i could just heat up the battery and i mean if i'm in the van then i'm not obviously gonna have the heater on so the battery's gonna stay fairly warm but anyways i just didn't think it was a smart idea to go up to lake tahoe with that coldness but that's not even the biggest issue here right before i got back in the van and went up north my tooth was hurting my top molar i guess it's called and this is a tooth that's had problems in the past. I've had a root canal, crown, whatever, all the things. It just wants to continue to have problems. So I went to like an emergency dentist appointment and come to find out I have an infected, majorly infected tooth area up there. So that dentist prescribed me antibiotics and told me I, that I need to immediately go see an endodontist who deals with root canals and surgery and stuff like that. So I was a little stubborn in the fact because I was like, well, I'm not gonna wait around in Southern California. I wanna get in my van and go up North. And so I did. <laughs> a change in plans can be a bummer, but you know what's not a bummer? Becoming part of the snack pack. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and throw a like on this video. And if you were on the last live stream, you will have already heard the story, but I'm gonna give you the outcome. So you'll wanna stick around. I had an appointment scheduled because I figured that would give me enough time to go up north, go to Lake Tahoe, enjoy my time. And that'd be like three weeks of traveling in my van before I go to Southern California for this appointment. And I got all the way up here and then my tooth was hurting again. I finished the antibiotics, my tooth still hurts. It's throbbing, it has a little pain to it. it. When I can't really bite down on it, it hurts. So on my live stream, I asked what people thought I should do, if I should go enjoy my time and then go to the dentist. Every single person in the live chat, I think maybe one person didn't, but I, I don't even know, it was going by too fast. But every person was like, do not mess with your teeth. You need to get back to the endodontist. You need to take care of your tooth. It could affect all kinds of things. If you have any kind of infection in your body, which I know these things, but you know when you have like a little stubbornness and you're like, no, I had plans. And that's why I said at the beginning of this video that we make plans and God laughs at us because he knows what's best for us and we don't. Everyone was like, get to the dentist immediately. So I called and moved my appointment up a couple weeks 
And the thing is, is because the endodontist that I need to see for, that's covered by my insurance, he's only in on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So yesterday when I called, it was a Tuesday. So I wasn't going to be able to make it on that day. It's going to take a couple days for me to drive back. So I made an appointment for next Tuesday. So I have a few more days here at my friend Ivana's house. I'm going to help her pack and get ready for her move. And then I will get on the road in a couple days. And it just kind of makes me feel really bummed out because I'm probably about three and a half hours away from Tahoe, which is not that far, but it's far enough that I don't want to drive there, spend one day there and then drive back. That seems like a lot of extra stress for no reason when there's other beautiful places that I could go to along the way or back in Southern California. So <sighs> this hair is tangled. So I will make sure to take you along for that journey. I supposedly need to get something called a apioectomy, ap apioectomy. Anyways, it's where they cut the tip of the root off and then they bone graft it or do something weird and they got to cut through your gums to get there. I thought they put you to sleep, but apparently they just numb you up. So I'll be asking for extra numbing agent on that because that sounds terrible. And so anyways, yesterday my tooth was hurting. So I called that first dentist back and got them to prescribe me more antibiotics so I can get through this week of getting back there in like Southern California. So anyways, I'm curling my hair because I need to film a video for my other channel, Allison Loves. If you're not already following that one, we're almost to a thousand subscribers. So go, 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 go check that out. But anyways, this is good enough. I tell you the story, not only to tell you my story, but also I don't know what your faith is. Everyone's got their own decision to make in terms of that, but oh, I don't want to take this out. I'm going to have to take this out. But I'll tell you that God has really guided me and me having a relationship with Jesus has really made me depend on ow, someone other than myself. And that's a big deal. A lot of times we try to make things happen and it's not the right thing. But I've noticed that whenever I slow down and really pay attention to what God is trying to tell me, things not only go much more smoothly, but I feel at peace about it. Philippians 4, 6 says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything through prayer and petition with thanksgiving, thankful being the word here, make your requests known to God and he'll provide you peace that is like you can't really even understand why you have peace, but you'll have peace. And every time I do that, I have peace. I have peace about this situation now of heading back to Southern California. And then from there, I'll find some other cool things to do after I get this surgery, this tooth situation. Wow, that looks a little... I want it to go like out more. It's too weird. <sighs> and I've decided to spend the Christmas time in Dallas, Texas. So after this month, I'll start heading over there. What am I trying to do with my hair here? Maybe I don't want to do that. Oh, that's a look. Get these two. I think that's the point of this story is that it's not really up to me to make these decisions. It's up to me to listen to God and just go with the flow. It's gonna be great. Well, it's a little froofy. So if you're in a position where you wanna do something and things keep getting delayed or changes keep being made, just take it one day at a time, curl your hair, or if you don't have hair, I don't know what, and keep it moving. Wow, that looks like I have alien antennas. Oh, this hair didn't turn out the way I wanted, but <laughs> again, whatever. <sighs> it's getting hot in here. It's kind of a bummer, but also it frees you up to experience some other things that you may not have experienced. And sometimes it's even better than what was planned. One of my little mottos is let go of the outcome. Whenever I have an outcome that I have in my mind, stress level goes up but when i don't care about the outcome that much whenever i let go of it it's like okay well that's what i thought was going to happen but let's see what's around this corner that curiosity kicks in and that makes me excited i don't know let me know if there's something that you've been wanting to do that's been kind of your plans have been foiled and you know how you're feeling about it all right it's starting to rain so this is kind of cool awesome i love it when it rains in the van okay well 
Anyway, usually I use smaller rubber bands so that this lays down a little more flat. So it is just what it is. Okay. So while I'm with my friend, I'm going to enjoy her company, enjoy this beautiful view because she's right by the San Francisco airport. Eat some more potatoes so I can stay a little more healthy because I haven't been eating that great. But my tooth does hurt. It's throbbing. It's kind of spreading to like this upper part of my mouth a little bit feels like it's kind of going into my sinuses a little bit and when they took the x-rays it did show that that tooth is kind of impinging and hinging infringing i don't know on my sinus cavity so i think it's kind of pretty serious so it's cold I'm walking back from my van and can't think straight because it's so cold and then in a couple days i'll get back out on the road in my van drive down to southern california and share everything i experience with you along the way Bye for now! Man makes plans and God... <clears throat> think of it. Think it through. More antibiotic. Film another... And share everything I... And share everything I... And, and share... Snack time! Snack time!